Hello! This video is part of a series where I read over old issues of my comic Hellgate and give some commentary. Hellgate started in 2003 when I was 15 and ran till 2009. You can read it for free at JaegerComics.com. This footage was captured from my streams over at twitch.tv slash Jaeger underscore comics. Um, so yeah, we're doing it a little bit different this time. We are going... Um, I'm basically capturing directly from my PC instead of through the art broadcast from my laptop. So hopefully there will be less of a lag in what I, the movements I make on the page. But I don't have as much control over the um, uh, how much I can move on the page. So uh, hopefully that will kind of balance out. So this is Hellgate Battle 31. The First Slayer from, looks like, 2008. Last time on Hellgate, Battle 30, the one I love is you. After leaving his friends, Neil found himself once again fighting the giant demon. His friends track him down, and Courtney finally calls out his name. Neil is then able to use the new attack, the Dragon Twister. Neil says it plain and simple. The one he loves is Courtney Rosebud. So, yes, last time we had... Um, uh, we finally ended our little mini arc of the uh, misconception between Neil and Courtney and the belief that he had a thing for Jessica uh, when in truth um, he's always had feelings for Courtney and uh, with her voice now his third form can perform the ultimate attack. And so we join Neil on a rooftop. Can I do this? I'm just a 20-year-old kid who hasn't finished high school. Am I just playing at being a hero? Demonic? Mm hmm? Why was the first Slayer chosen? Jaeger? Well, only God knows that, but I can tell you how it happened. Maybe that will shed some light. 2,000 years ago, North America. Seal. See a gate of some kind out in the open. That will keep the, irits, the evil spirits sealed. The recent earth shakings have been from the evil spirits trying to escape, but this ceiling dent should hold them. Now come, we must prepare for your wedding. The rumbling returns. I failed! And the gate opens. Out comes a pouring of demons. The gate closes once again. The light doesn't burn. The demon boss's plan worked. Evil spirit. I'm a demon. But what are you? Jumps in. Boom. Oh. These things are fun to kill. Ugh. Thump. Ah, the perks of immortality. He healed. And then, boom, there goes that guy. Rome. People fighting, training. We are honored that you would come to choose next week's fighters personally. Goldfish turd! Who dares insult the senator? That would be me. What do we have here? My apologies, senator. He is a new slave captured from the Anglo-Saxons in the north. Slave, we offer you a chance to train here, and you come... Sorry. Slave, we offer you a chance to train here and become a great warrior in the Colosseum. I don't need your damn training. Do you think you could win in the Colosseum as you are now? Yeah. So be it. This slave will fight in one week. Give him no training, and make sure he's in perfect health. Heh. <laughs> 
uh, got some eating going on. Nom noms. Tomorrow we fight. I know. You think you can win? I know I can. I have trained here for five years while you have had no training and you think you can win? I've trained since I was 12. There is no way your barbarian training can measure up to my Roman training. Don't underestimate me. The Colosseum. We'll, uh, we'll address that later. This should teach that barbarian to respect Roman training. Fight, 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 kill, 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 kill. Oh, here we go. Throws the net. Slashes away the net. Goes in for a stab. Cut on the cheek. Confidence. Don't get cocky. I'm about to show you the Jaeger clan's fighting style. Boastful bastard. Blocks with the shield. And a quick spin. The Jaeger backspin style. Yeah! Woo! Gods, kill that barbarian! What? Die, barbarian? Huh? Huh? Where are the gods? Whoa, something took care of the guards already. Ugh. Who could have done that to trained Roman warriors? Gah! Demons! Ugh. Beam of light from above. A, a sword. No. What the? Slash. But then it recombines. Now what the hell do I do? Use the holy sword. Oh. Drops his sword and shield, grabs a new sword and cut. So who the hell are you? You might want to worry about them first. How did you kill that demon? He didn't. That sword is a sword made by God. When it fatally injures a demon, the demon is trapped in the sword and later placed back in the Hellgate. In that case, the demon boss will reward me if I kill you and break that sword. Invoke the sword's power. Invoke. Transformation! Boom! Sucked away. This power feels amazing! And it's yours to use should you accept the task of tracking down and slaying every demon. You have been chosen by God to become the Demon Slayer. I accept, but who are you? I am Demonic. I will serve as your informant from God. This is my punishment for an unspeakable crime. Right, well, there's still some demons here, so... Boom. A born warrior. But I wasn't chosen. I'm just a kid who found a sword. Well, the Christians say God works in mysterious ways. Next time on Hellgate, Battle 32, Brother. The army steps in and wants to take over the Demon Slaying Venture, and they want someone they can control to be the Demon Slayer, Sergeant First Class Brian Yeager. So, um, commentary. Uh, okay, so, this cover, I like, I like Yeager here. I do. Uh, the background's boring. It's just plain orange. A little weird. Um, also, I didn't know how to do shiny metal yet, which really would have made that sword pop. But other than that, he looks pretty solid there. Beefy dude. Uh, we start out with just Neil and Demonic hanging on a rooftop. Probably at a hotel somewhere. 
Uh, Neil's wearing an EHS shirt. That stands for Eureka High School, where I went to school. Although at this point, when this issue came out, um, I believe I was already in college. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I was in college already. Uh, so we go to a flashback. And the first place we see is North America. So this would be what would later become Eureka, this area here where the Hellgate is. And as we see, um, the Hellgate used to be uh, above ground um, and had no markings on it. It was just this stone door slab in the middle of a field um and uh we have these two uh native americans um i tried not to go stereotypical with them like i didn't do like i didn't i i tried you know i i, I try not to go stereotypical on the other hand i also didn't do any research so they are kind of just a vague concept of Native Americans. So that's probably a knock on me on that one. But I, I definitely, I, I made an effort, but I could have made more of an effort. Um, and so I could have looked into the peoples that were going to be um, uh, peoples that were going to be in that area at around that time. Um, but I didn't do that much research back then. Um, so we have a chief, and then this character's name is actually Alo. I don't know if I ever state that in the comic anywhere, but that is the name I gave him is A-L-O. Um, and that's completely pulled out of my butt, too. Um, and we see the gate opening. Basically, these Native American tribes have noticed like a lot of earthquakes in the area, this being the epicenter. They have a sense there's evil behind the door. They think that their magics or their religious beliefs can seal it, but... It's not enough. And the first thing we see here is a demon we've seen before in issue nine and 10 of Hellgate. Um, this long clawed, super fast demon with the heartogram symbol on his chest. Um, this is the, a demon Neil fought uh, while he was with Kelly right before he, like she betrayed him in the experimental robotics compound. Um, and he quickly makes quick work of these two. Uh, this is the first time a demon has encountered anything that's not a demon. Um, and also the first time the demons have encountered anything since they've gained immortality. So he's kind of relishing in both like, what is this thing? And ooh, cool. It can die. That's fun. Uh, his hair is actually wrong here on the bottom left. Uh, his hair is supposed to lay the other way. And that is because I accidentally, I had to mirror this last frame because I accidentally um, drew it the other way, but that's the wrong arm. Like that's not the right hand to have the big claws on. So I had to mirror the page there, the mirror, the frame so that his arm was correct but um that messed up his hair then we shoot to rome so this whole roman section is vaguely based off the movie gladiator which i have not even really fully seen i just have a vague concept of what it is and so there are some similarities there uh and then we get our um our um insult here goldfish turd so that is i first heard that insult in a um chapter of Veroni kenshin and I believe there is some historical context for that being a common um, uh, insult in the 1800s in Japan. That's a far cry from the first century Rome, but I went with it. And we see that Bannon has already been captured. Spoilers, name's Bannon. I keep forgetting that that's not revealed until way later. Um, I just hadn't came up with a first name for him yet. I just called him Jaeger, but later I will call him Bannon. Um, so this is Bannon Jaeger. So, uh, Bannon's already been captured. He's from the Anglo-Saxon tribe. We've learned that. And that apparently he's being kept as a slave and he's going to fight in the Coliseum. But because of his disrespect, he now is going to, uh, be forced to fight in the Coliseum without any training. Um, and then we see another slave who's obviously from Africa. Um, uh, yeah, so um, it's not uncommon now for me to use images and photographs in my comic, um, and I'm very good at making them blend in seamlessly. This is one of the first times I ever did that for a comic, and I was not good at making it blend seamlessly. I just put in a photo of the Coliseum, <laughs> and it is blatantly obvious. A lot of talking head syndrome going on in this issue. That shield is like that. That his fist would be like right there. Like that arm's not right. That's not how you hold that. Did not do as well as I did on the cover on this one. 
the fight and i believe there's like a roughly a fight like this in the movie gladiator where he fights a guy who uses a net and stuff like that um and then we see how bannon gets his scar on his cheek he will always have that going forward um this is a younger bandit that we saw in previous flashback issue obviously because this is how he became the demon slayer while in the last flashback issue he was already the demon slayer um, and this is the first time we see the Jaeger backspin style, which is involves a, a block and then immediate 360 turn, kind of using the momentum of the turn to kind of parry and put the enemy off their um, balance while you quickly come in for a low slash. We will see more of this, and we'll also see it better explained and better like visualized. And the way I came up with the Jaeger backspin style is because I often drew Neil with a sword stance like this. Like his sword, well, be like he's left-handed. His sword would be up here. Like he'd always come at it like this. Um, or, or down here, actually. Down here. Down low. That's always had him like coming at. And I was like, that's a weird way to come at someone unless you're just going in for a stab. It's weird to come in for a stab with that. Or it's it a stab is the only thing you can come at with that. It's weird to go in for a slash from this. And so I had this idea in my head that Neil would like do a quick like 360 turn to do a slash. Um that's never been that was the basis for the idea of the Jaeger backspin style, although Neil has not done that yet. Um and it's not quite how it works. Um and then yeah, and then the senator's mad that um senator's got some poof on him. Senator's got a big old poof on his head. Uh senator's mad, and the senator gets taken out by a demon. And then we see a whole bunch of demons. Uh, we got a worm demon who we've seen before. The eyeball demon shown up in the background before. So a lot of these demons have shown up in the background before. Uh and then this is essentially a Greymon ripoff here. That's fun. And then our flappy cow. Um more JPEG. The sword appears. Um, we'll learn more about that later. Um, like where the sword came from before this point. Demon X past. That's kind of Heaven Gate stuff. Um, and then we see that in the first laying, the Flappy Cow um, went away immediately. Uh, so this guy's important here. This top knot guy here. Um, this is our first time seeing him. It will not be the last keep uh him in your memory because uh his issues with each time the demons have gotten out is going to be a running theme for this poor bastard um that's all i'll say about that for now but just keep in mind that the poor guy gets out of hell and almost immediately gets slain immediately um and yeah and the flashback ends and so we're kind of starting this mini arc where Neil is starting to kind of doubt himself. And so um, that will definitely play into the next issue for sure. And uh, that was Hellgate Battle 31, the first Slayer. Thank you for that redeem, Lord of Kirby 64. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and I'd love to read your comments below. And make sure you're subscribed so you know when the next comic goes up. Also, check the description for a playlist of any readings you may have already missed. And if you'd like to read ahead, all of these comics are free on my website, jaegercomics.com. Bye!